triggers. Today I'll show you guys how to install an X1 Pro Gen 3 onto a BSA threaded bottom. Enjoy. So first step, X1 Pro is a bit different. We don't have the split plate incorporated into the design yet. So what we'll do is we're going to remove the two bolts from the controller and then the one in the bottom left and then what will be able to happen is the side plate can swing out the way and then swing back in place. You need to also loosen the top one so that it can swing. You can either remove the bracket completely but then it becomes an extra task to put the spacer back in. So now we have the plate can swing out. So you can install into the bike and then swing back and then put the screws back in and then tighten the PB cup. As mentioned before we're gonna, we're gonna swing the plate out the way install into the bottom bracket I've already added grease to the PB cup and then uh, as you can see we cut our ISCG mount it doesn't have to be cut for X1 Pro and stuff but we cut it for other purposes this is our test bike so it's used for many other purposes and development and stuff like that so just slot out the way install and then it goes back then you can put the screws back in add your spaces and tighten the PB cup in in terms of spacing, because this is a 73mm BSA bracket, we need to go from 70 to 83 so that's 10mm, so usually there's a 3mm on the drive side and then a 7mm on the non-drive side. So what we'll do is we'll just pull this off, put our 3mm on the drive side, and then when we close this up we're going to put the 7 in between the plate and the bottom bracket, and then we're going to tighten the, the PB cup in and then one of the other modifications we made for the bike is is always it's better to have a rigid mount to a bike because this is thin tubing maybe only 1.2 we add a 2 mole steel plate to distribute the force so we don't just have one point load so this will prevent the bike frame from getting dented so now we can start adding our screws back just remember you loosen this one so if you go again I suggest you check all four So we're gonna check in crisscross. You do one, 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 one. You can get the torque specs online from our website. So as mentioned before, we're gonna slot the seven mm in between the mode system and the bike frame. And then after we have this one slotted in, the BB cup can go inside. So what I usually tend to do is make sure all my wires are sitting in the right position where I want them, put the motor up because the moment you clamp this down it will most likely also hold the motor in place. before and it's on the BB92 installation. This is a slightly shorter spindle. Again you see sometimes it stops then you just need to find so it connects to the spline. The way you can check if it's connected if you rotate it it's not driving the chain. If it's in the spline and I move it it will turn the chain ring which means it's engaged now. Then we can knock it through. C-clamp, retaining ring goes on, retaining clamp, basically, with the pretension. Again, there's a slot located here, X-key can go inside, 
then we can pre-tension this. It's not too tight, it's only to make sure that there's no play on the spindle. See, maybe that's too tight, we'll go back a bit. Okay, then you lock it. Okay, again, we're gonna add a spacer from the thread to this marker indication line where there should be an end stop. So we'll add the spacer and put the crank on and then do the ball. You'll see once it hits the spacer, there's a distinct stop and you can talk it to spec. Okay, we've installed the hanger now. We're gonna connect up all the wires. Usually we have a battery sitting on the belly of the bike. It's one of our B-series batteries that we flipped. We're like exploring different mounting options, seeing how we can put the batteries on the belly to get the center of weight down and then clear up space in the top. So the battery would usually just connect here. This is our Bluetooth and speed sensor. You can identify these two notches so you can't plug it into your hall or talk sensor cable. It's a dedicated cable for Bluetooth sensor and speed sensing as well. So that goes in there. The Bluetooth sensor is already installed here at the back with the magnet there. Then our one to four harness, we have a shift sensor on this one, is already wired up, so we'll plug that in as well. And then just to do the battery, we'll put the battery on the belly and then plug in and done.